Hey everyone, welcome to a very special Ascension video. Uh, we recently got enough Primordial Dust to ascend a second six-star champion, so I have my eye on the Necropolis that's dropping next week uh, with my second one. So you can see here, Nova is already ascended. Uh, there are 14 options there to join him. I'm a, I really like all of the champs I have at rank five. Uh, but like I did in my first Ascension video, we'll go over some honorable mentions first, just quickly. Um, I'll just go in the order that they appear here. So Mojo, I just love Mojo. I know he's a seven star, but I'm just a huge fan of the champ. I just love the way that he plays, super underrated on offense, um, but just not quite enough to, to make the cut here. Um, Hercules, you know, <laughs> I said it last time, he's the most broken champ in the game, but I just don't see, and, and for most people, all things equal, he is the best champ to ascend, uh, but for me, I just don't think he is. Um, next is going to be APOC. He drops from top three choice last time to honorable mention this time. Um, the thing about APOC is, I mean, I use him a bunch in war, um, although that is declining because he's just not as great for this current map, but I mean, he'll come back. Um and I mean, there is a chance he's going to be good in Necropolis, you know, an APOC with an all mutant team, especially with the Strife synergy. Um, he could be really, really strong, uh, but that's a little bit more of a risk than some of the other options. Um, so moving on to the top three, number three is Doom. Now, Doom is not exactly a long form content champ, even though he was very, very good for uh, the Abyss. So if there's a, you know, a requirement to bring a Mystic champ like the Abyss in Necropolis, Doom will definitely be the champ that I use. He's the champ that I use more than anyone. I use him for everything. If I don't know what to do, I just bring Doom. I love him. I just don't think he's going to get the benefit uh, for Necropolis that I need. And with more dust coming down the line, he will likely be the next one that I ascend. Um, but, you know, you never know. Uh Moving on to number two, though. Number two is going to be Kate Bishop. So Kate is a recent rank five that I got. I got a skill gem from 8.3. Um, use it on Kate. She should be absolutely incredible for the Necropolis. Um, the reason why I didn't ascend her is I'm still really getting used to her. I mean, she, I'm getting more and more comfortable with her, and her damage potential is just absolutely nuts when you get it down. Um, but it's a little bit stressful at least the way that I'm I think it's easier than I'm making it uh be when I play her but there it, at least for me it seems like it's a little bit more um reliant on the on the opponent kind of staying in their corner and knocking them down and getting the the refresh on the heavies and all of that I mean she's nuts and when it all lines up I mean she just absolutely melts things um and she's still very well come to the to the necropolis with me even at rank five not ascended um but she did get edged out by number one, and number one is going to be Baron Zemo. Um, so there's been a lot of, I guess, controversy around Zemo recently. Um, I mean, look, he was designed for long-form content. He should be a really, really strong option in Necropolis. Um, and he gets a tiebreaker over Kate because, frankly, I'm just a little more, bit more comfortable with him than with Kate. Um, all things equal, Kate is probably a better option for the Necropolis, um, but at least for, to me right now, Zemo's damage output is a little bit more user-friendly and a little bit less stressful. Um, so Zemo is the call. Zemo going up, um, and he becomes my second champion that has, my second six-star champion that has been ascended. But wait, there's more. Again, you know, this is Necropolis prep, so... Who better to take to as a seven star to rank two than Guillotine twenty ninety nine? Um, so I mean, full disclosure, I am not a big fan of Guillotine twenty ninety nine. I don't really like her play style. I don't like um, how stressful she is, frankly, because you know if you get hit, you lose your combo. You know, sure, there's the combo shields and the heavy, and with the sig, you can potentially get saved. But you know, I'm not the best at this game. I get hit a lot. Um, and losing your combo with Gilly is just absolutely, like, it's just deflating. That being said, I can't deny she is absolutely incredible for long-form content, exactly like Necropolis. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, she was kind of neutered a little bit in Abyss. Hopefully that doesn't happen here with Necropolis, um, but even 
with Abyss, she was still very useful. Um, I mean, MSD used her for a bunch. She, she's still a really, really good champ. Um, so she'll be coming with me as well. But wait, there's even more. And this was more of a fun rank up for me. So I also took 7-star Black Cat to rank 2. Um, so Black Cat is a really, really fun champ to play. And she's pretty broken with the uh, Black Widow Relic. Um, so I have a four-star Black Widow Relic, and it, it just makes her just really, really crazy. Um, her bleed damage potential is kind of nuts, but I already have Zemo for that kind of bleed role. Um, so I think she'll fill more of a niche for me is really any champ that kind of relies on abilities. Um, so she can turn them off with her sabotage and ramp her damage that way, such as, you know, Thing or an Evade champ or someone like that. Um, so that's really where she can kind of outshine Zemo or, or Gilly or, or who knows, maybe somebody else. I mean, maybe when Necropolis comes out, I'm not bringing any of these and Zemo just becomes a Battlegrounds defender for this current rotation. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Three fun rank ups and hopefully three rank ups that will help me get through the Necropolis just a little bit smoother, but we shall see a week from today. Um, like I said, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see everyone soon.